Good morning everyone, it's Jelani. The morning scripture came from Matthew chapter 6 verses 2 to 4. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to thank you for yet another beautiful day of life. Lord, I thank you for the hope seen at times because we know that what is it we know what hope is is it and we just um are thankful at times when this hope that we have does come to fruition and even whilst we still hope for greater things of the life to come and all of that stuff i just pray as always that you continue with us to not falter not De deviate from the faith not to lose stance not to lose footing but to always continually stand firm in you dear lord trusting you with our whole heart mind soul strength loving you with everything that we are so that we can actually fulfill this life pleasing you and dear lord we know that there is greater things to even come in the kingdom to come but whilst we abide here, we can give you thanks yet still that you are the God who rewards those who you so please. And you, you, you give a reward to those who patiently wait on you. So I just want to thank you for that today. Thank you for being, thank you for being who you are. And I just pray that we can use this life, whatever blessings that you are giving us in this life, just use us to honor you with all that we are. Because this is literally the least that we can do. Because you have given us all things. You've given us our bodies. You've given us our soul. <laughs> You've given us this world to um, abide in also. And yes, it is corrupt at the moment. But we still can give you thanks. Even through the trials. Even through the tests. Even through everything that we face in this life. We can still give you thanks. And as we just ask that we continue to hope in you in all that we do. And dear Lord, as this world orchestrates itself to be what it is, corrupt, I just pray that we do not get sucked into it as those who claim to be of the light. But that we, whilst we abide in this darkness, we shall still be that light showing that there is a better way, there's a greater path. No one needs to abide in darkness. And as you have turned us from darkness, let us in love also, as much as you put in us, turn those who we know, we love, those who we come in contact with, those who we actually are hated by. Let us always keep them in prayer in so much that they shall come out of darkness into the marvelous light that you have us in, the light of you, Lord Jesus Christ. So the test and trials, whilst we abide here, these things, as always, I ask that they do not tear us down, but build us up, refine us, purge us from all unrighteousness and evil, to purify us unto that refined, pure, chastened vessel, worthy of the embodiment of your Holy Spirit, and that we also are using this life to edify, to rear up, to raise, to steer the youth, the children in the way and knowledge of who you are. So when they are of age, they shall never neglect nor reject you. So I thank you for all things. Lead us in spirit and in truth in your word this morning, Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God, our Heavenly Father, I pray. Amen. All right, cool. All right, so Matthew chapter 6, verses 2 to 4 says, Therefore, when thou doest thine arms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. For when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thine alms may be in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. Amen. I remember the other day I was speaking about rewards, right? And I was speaking about there is there is reward for there is a reward for everybody, and I put it in two camps, right? Because at the end of the day, there is two choices. Either we 
love and follow God through Christ Jesus or we don't. Right? You, you, you are actually either or either one of those camps. And I remember I was speaking about the reward. The reward being um, there's a reward for the, the ones who have found righteousness through Christ Jesus. And there's a reward for those who forsake Christ, hate him, do all sorts of manner of evil and just went against God. Right? The reward for those who um, serve the Lord is his promises of an eternal kingdom to come, being glorified with him in a spiritual body and being with him for eternity in his goodness. Whereas the reward for the wicked is damnation, condemnation, and ultimately the lake of fire, which I, and I believe everyone who actually come to the love of Christ, do not wish for everyone. Right? So just to... Again, just jump into that. But this one, what we're dealing with this morning here is alms giving, And it's a good one because I remember on my journey, my walk with Christ, this was one that um, spoke volume and still speak volume to me today. In that um, what we do in this life is not for our self-glory. No, there's never should There should never be self-glorification or self-gratification when we claim to serve Christ, right? And I do, to be honest, sometimes people might find it weird, but even certain times when people try to, like, thank me, sometimes I feel weird, like, I don't know why, but I feel weird. I always need to give it back to the actual person who allowed me to do it, which is Christ Jesus. Some people might say yeah, it sounds kind of overly, overly righteous or overly godly or like churchy, but genuinely, like that's how my mind works. It's like it's not, it's literally not really me, really. It's it's Christ in me. So I have to give back the, the homage, I have to give back the praise unto him. Obviously, I'm learning just to in discernment also <laughs> to answer these things because yeah, sometimes yeah, it might be a bit I, with discernment, let's just leave it at that, yeah. But ultimately without a doubt all praises all glory goes back to christ jesus right and when we are doing things on his behalf it's not for us to go and see man to hear man and man say oh yeah jelani they give me ten thousand pound yesterday or jelani they do this and you dare feel puffed up on them things or you yourself before you set out to give anything you make yo i'm gonna give out a million pound tomorrow because yeah, I'm um, that kind of guy, kind of, no, like, if you were doing that expecting to get some kind of uh, pat on the back from God, you're actually doing the opposite, right? It's best if you do it in secret, as the scripture speaks here, we, we do things in secret. I'm doing it in secret doesn't mean that you have to be whispering and all of that stuff. It just means that you're genuinely just going to help out somebody with the arms that you're giving. It could be food. And arms don't just mean money. Right? Let's just clarify that. It's anything that you you, you you have to give, right? You can even give your service. You can give your love. You can give obviously you can give stuff also. And money. I'm not saying it's not money, but it's not just money. Right? So just a reminder and all of that. And as I said, it is for us to humbly think of why we're doing it. As I I believe for a certainty if we're gonna be doing it with a like a intent in our heart like we want to get that self-gratification it's best you don't give it at all in the first instance just don't give it go back to the lord in prayer ask for him to humble us enough so that we can be doing things for his glory and not our own so um yeah and it was just giving an example there <laughs> i'm like oh jesus is just raw sometimes you know because some people always think that jesus is this softy softy Safi, Safi, man, hippie, man. But Jesus was like proper hardcore, blunt at times. Like, was, <laughs> man, he called them hypocrites, right? He said, don't do it like them hypocrite do. And you know, hypocrite sometimes is a um, trigger word for certain people if somebody get called hypocrite, etc. But yeah, Jesus used it, so I guess it's all right. So it's just one to remember when we're doing anything make sure we always have it in a how the intent of it knowing who we are serving knowing who we are giving back the praise unto we are just stewards of what he has given us 
and we are giving our glory and our praise back to the Father through Christ Jesus. So I'm going to leave it at that this morning. Timely reminder, I haven't read this one in a while. Um, anything that you want to share, as always, drop it in the comment section or send it into the word at eachreachone.org. And as much as the Lord has led me, taught me and kept me over the years, I will answer them according to his word, according to his principles, according to his will, being led by his Holy Spirit. Have a blessed day, everyone, and God's willing, we'll catch up again tomorrow.